Once long ago, a clever man called Jamil went on a long journey. It was so long ago there were no cars, buses or trains to carry him on his way. Jamil had to walk. The journey was taking a long time but Jamil did not mind. He sang, he whistled, he talked himself. He also thought about the greatness of God. He had plenty of time. After walking a long way, Jamil felt tired. He sat down under the shade of a tree. I shall rest here, said Jamil to himself. Jamil sat quietly under the tree. Then he lay down and looked up into the branches. The tree was not just an old tree. It was a walnut tree. Jamil looked at the strong trunk. He looked at the branches. He studied the shapes of the leaves. He saw some walnuts on the branches. He studied them too. Jamil could see every part of the tree, but his mind was not on the tree at all. He was thinking about the greatness of God. Jamil sighed loudly. Ah, he said, God is truly great. God is truly good. God has made so many things, so many good things, so many beautiful things, so many useful things. But, but, but. And here Jamil stopped speaking aloud. He looked around to see if anyone was passing. It was a lonely place. There was nobody there, so Jamil spoke loud. God is truly great, said Jamil. God has made this wonderful walnut tree, but was it wise to make it like this? The tree is so big, but the nuts are so small. Jamil sat up. He looked at the field nearby. It, in the field, there were some pumpkins. Jamil looked at them and smiled. Aha! He said, I thought so. The pumpkins were growing on long thin vines, but the pumpkins were so big. Jamil lay down again closed his eyes he started speaking himself again god is truly great said jamil god has made walnuts and pumpkins but i would have made them in a different way the great walnut tree has such a small fruit the poor pumpkin plants have to carry large fruit on thin vines the small walnuts should grow on a vine and the large pumpkins should grow on a tree. Jamil thought about this for some time. Then his head nodded and he fell asleep. I hope you enjoyed the first part of Walnut and Pumpkins story. So, See you in the next part of Walnut and Pumpkins. Allah Hafiz.